Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is just a fun short little video I got showing off this <laughs> little airbrush that I got. Uh, it's a fun story. Take the cap off there. It's a fun story. Uh, when I was about 16, I was gifted an, an airbrush. Uh, and as a 16 year old, I didn't really have the extra money for a compressor or for uh, paints or anything like that. So I never actually got to use it. So I was really excited to get this one because it has the compressor that actually attaches right to it and acts as a handle. So <clears throat> I found this one on Amazon and I'll post links to it. And <clears throat> it came with uh, the airbrush, of course, the handle, uh, charging cable because it charges up. And let's see what else do we have? Uh, I've got a, an extra cup for for larger quantities, so you can unscrew this one and put this one on. And some uh, little cleaning brushes. That's about it. So you may recognize this little lady, <laughs> Wonder Woman, that I 3D printed in my eCube Maker toy DIY video. And I had primed this for painting months ago and never got around to it. So I'm going to be masking off some areas and doing a little painting with the airbrush on it. So let's get into that. Okay, we've got her all masked off for the, uh, the outfit area. Uh, some, just use some masking tape and newspaper. I'm uh, not exactly an expert at this, but I did go to art school for uh, several years, so <laughs> it should work. Now, in the airbrush, I'm going to put some of this red paint. It's acrylic, made by Valio. Uh, they do make an airbrush paint, but I don't have any, so this is acrylic paint. And we will add to that. Maybe we will add to that some of this airbrush flow improver. I've never used this before, but it says that you should put in two drops for every 10 drops of paint. So let's do that. Okay. Get our paint open. It's kind of a large area, so I'm going to try and do this with 10 drops of paint. So. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we'll see. Let's open this up. First time opening. <laughs> and we'll put in two drops. One, two. This actually does not look like very much paint, so I will probably have to add more. But let's give it a shot. Okay, so this is a dual action airbrush, which means that you can press it down and you can feel the air coming out. But then if you press it down and pull back on the lever, we will start to see the paint come out. And, of course, if you get closer, you get a finer line. And further back, you get a softer line. So, let's do a little painting on our model.
Okay, so we've got this whole uh, torso outfit painted. Uh, probably could have done a little darker in the back, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's a little flat though, so what I've done is I took some of that red and mixed in some black uh, along with a little water and some of that flow improver and I'm going to try to spray it all on there and then wipe it off with a paper towel. And let's see how that goes. <laughs> Never tried this before, so I'm hoping it works. Okay, you got the airbrush. Kind of looks a little brown. <laughs> okay, test. Quickly wipe it down. It does look like it's wiping off some of the red, and that's not good. So I'm gonna have to wipe a little more gently. But it kind of looks a little like uh, battle damage or something. But I'll let that dry and then we'll try again. Okay, I've sprayed and rubbed a few times. I think it's looking pretty good, sufficiently dirty. So let's uh, do the big reveal. Remove some of this tape. Okay, the newspaper off. Come on, where's the edge? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, not perfect. <laughs> Definitely not up there. Yeah, I found while I was painting that this uh, masking tape, when it got wet, it started to peel up. So, I was hoping it wasn't going to be too bad, but eh. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's it's not great, but you know we make mistakes so that we learn. But uh, the paint uh, around here, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's the airbrush. The brand is uh, Auto Lock. I did you know paid for this all myself. Uh, if you'd like to s check it out yourself, there's links with more info to Amazon in the description. Right, see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below.